Hello and welcome everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today we'll be revisiting the fifth episode of Gajamada, titled The Pasunda Bubat Tragedy. My original video upload uh, was back when the campaign was bugged and missing the timer would not cause you to lose, so let's uh, revisit this and beat it the correct way. Wow. We'll go ahead and skip the intro cinematic. And uh, our goal here is to kill all the Sunda royal fighters in the capital. Gajamada demands the subjugation of Sunda to the Majapahit. This is not what we agreed upon. We would rather die as free men than live under Majapahit's chains. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to try the land route here. The Sunda have the audacity to defy us. We must find a way to break into the city and kill them. Yeah, uh, somehow we've already lost HP on our our blessings here. Let's bring our soldiers back. Let's uh, patrol them here. Load these guys into our transport. Bring them back. And we'll want to come towards this village here. Now that that's done. Yeah, why, why did these guys lose HP? I must have caused some self damage. It's a bit unfortunate. But it is what it is. Let's take what remains of our force, move forward here. There is a battle often that we'd like to pick up. There are more bandits on the path to the next village. Let my elephant and I help you clear the way. Okay, we'll have our siege onagers move forward here. Hopefully take care of these karambits fairly easily. Yeah, yeah, let's finish off this camp here to get a shot of early resources. Our village is at your service. Okay, first few villains come out on stone. Our military camp can be of use to you. It is yours. We have destroyed our bandit encampment. Let's get Bracer online for our ships. Let's get fast fire ship as well as training three fire ships. Everyone else can focus here. Gaja. I am hearing our some villagers here. Rumors. Since I trust you, I will not look further into them. Okay, any 
name of the game is to boom though. We cannot risk demolishing our own capital, so we cannot use siege weapons. If we want to destroy buildings, we will have to rely on elephants. Okay, we'll keep ship production coming. Meanwhile, we want to make sure our boom is still good here. See, archers being annoying. That's about par for the course here. Get a couple fishing ships online in our harbor. Send this navy out to clear out some enemy boats. Have some more vills at home here. Never mind, we're not going to send this navy out. We're going to fight those guys. Okay. Let's not bite off more than we can chew here. Yeah, we've got these soldiers. There's a camp back there that we'd like to grab. Number of camps give us more resources too. Okay, getting more farmers out. Our guys are healing. Very good. Keep fire ship production coming. Keep Villagers brewing here. I'd like to get blast furnace at some point. Just need more stone so we can get a castle. Let's build a couple of stables here. Uh, not sure what happened here. I thought we were supposed to win that. Okay, no matter, we'll attack those guys into the next round. Get a university online here. Maybe back here. We are on good terms with the Mahajapit. Feel free to raid at our docks. 
Before I forget, we also sell war elephants for gold. They are stronger than the Southeast Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. Okay, that is categorically untrue. They do not sell war elephants. They sell armored elephants, which are not the same as war elephants. Be very aware. Get a couple of battle elephants up north there. Okay, build a castle up north here. Okay, we'll take care of these two. I don't need these buildings on our opposite shore anymore. And we have plenty of eco now. I'm gonna start transitioning into more battle alleys here. Swasti, Let's mine that gold over there. And clear out this blue building. Get crop rotation. Get conscription. Pick up chemistry next as soon as we get the gold. We're finished here with the stone. Let's transition to this gold. I'd like to save up for elite battle and tech. Let's have these elephants. Our guests. I will not tolerate any harm being done to them. Yeah. Cease your activities now. The king does not know what is best for Majapahit. We support you, Gaja, but we must hurry. Okay, let's eliminate some of these bandits. Here, do I have a market? I lack a market. Swasti. Let's get a market going. We have destroyed our bandit encampment and found loot. Pick up a leaf battle off in here. Finish off this encampment. Help our friends up there. And I want to break into the city via the sea at some point. Yeah. Got 25 minutes left to do this. 
We have destroyed our bandit encampment and found loot. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with anything else. Just gonna spam elephants here. Uh, so for that purpose, I could use yeah. more farmers. Yep, 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 yep. Swasti, Right, we've got more battle coming through. Let's run them through this encampment. And my strategy here is to bust a hole in the western part. Or in the battlements there. And then build a castle on the coast to bait the enemies out into our waiting arms. Siap, aku pembangun gedung. Aku panggali tambang. Siap. Okay, our greatest enemy is going to be our population cap. Siap. Siap. Don't need this many villagers. Let's uh, retire them. Let's also bring these two honors outside. They're going to have a valuable job. We have destroyed a bandit encampment and found loot. Okay, more battle alleys all the way across the world. Let's uh, remove these two. Get some more here. Aku pemangun ghetto. Pour the elephants in. Gotta get inside this gate ASAP.
Okay, very nice. Keep storming the area here. Keep the elephants coming. Here's the important part. Keep spamming these alleys. Let's bust in here. And the important part is to use these alleys to bust a hole into the center. Don't need to be unit efficient here. We have plenty of resources. What we're short on is only time. Let's build a second castle here. Get a couple scorpions online. And what matters now is that we're baiting Sunda Royal Fighters out. Okay, our ships have made its w made their way here. Let's get uh, more of these ships online, but more importantly, let's sneak some of these fellas out. Okay, we've baited those Sunda Royal Fighters out. Let's get back. Turn these bills over here.
Only nine more minutes. We're able to fight the Sundar Royal Fighters here. We go down with honor. Okay, how many more of these Sundas do we have to deal with? Is the question. I don't think it's over yet. Yeah, there's two over here. There's two more over there. I think now it's just mainly a matter of hunting them down. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, six minutes remaining. Where are they is the question. I wish I had spies or something so I could figure out where they are, this big meat mass. Oh, I only have five minutes left. I have no idea where the Sunda Royals are. Okay, there's at least one over here. I'm gonna hope to use these scorpions, land one shot on the castle. No, I wanted to bait those guys out. Okay, okay. Soon the Royal Fighter here. Three minutes remaining. Can I get it? That's one. Are there any more? Oh, there must be more. Yes, there are more, but they're coming. One minute fifty-eight. We're getting like utterly meat grinded over here. There we go. Gaja has completed his oath. You had better come see me now, Gaja. That is insane. All right. Well, 
Whew, my heart's beating fast, and I wish I could have commentated a bit better, but this mission is a bit of a chaotic, chaotic mission. But there we have it. Victory is ours in a totally legitimate way. At first, we'll watch this all just as a victory rush. My, plan. my army surrounded the Sunda royal family, and I ordered them to surrender their weapons. I was convinced that they would comply. To my surprise, instead of surrendering, the Sunda drew their weapons and attacked my army, even though they were vastly outnumbered. I tried in vain to stop the fighting, but the Sunda were destroyed, and my plot crumbled into dust. My own king and his family, the family that I have spent my entire life serving, were disgusted by my actions. When the king summoned me, I could see the disappointment and loathing in his eyes. In tears, he told me that his bride-to-be had committed suicide, and that I had ruined the reputation of our empire. Many in the Majapahit Empire wanted me dead, but because of my long years of service, the king spared my life. Instead, I was to resign and to withdraw to a small mansion in the countryside. Death would have been a less harsh punishment than having to live with this shame. And so, here I am, a lonely old man, once ambitious and young, now trapped in this secluded place. I realized that I was not clever like the Cancel, but rather greedy and blind, like the animals that it misleads. The assassination of the first king, the removal of the prime minister, all of the schemes that I planned and conspired. I let nothing come in the way of my ambitions. And now, I pay the price. Okay, we are done. Right, so um, I'm not going to lie, I didn't really like it the first time. Even though the mission bugged and I had plenty of time to kill all the uh, Cinder Royal fighters, and I still don't really like it this time. Um, I don't like how like the route splits kind of weird. This part of the map just becomes unused. Uh, I don't like how, like, why are there so many freaking Sundo battle elephants? You'd figure that since this is our city and they're the ones that's cornered, that they wouldn't be able to train like nine non-ilian battle elephants um it makes it imagine like the sooner royal fighter just like hides back here and you just have no idea right or he just runs back here you have no way of knowing that they're gonna do that the only reason why you can really even make this scenario work uh within the time frame that we're given unless you're like a god gamer i guess is because the royal fighters are just dumb. They just throw themselves at your army and eventually die if you capture their attention, right? Uh, otherwise, they just hide behind their big massive war elephants, you know? Like, there's no need for them to expose themselves. Or rather, battle elephants. Um, don't get me wrong, I still think that this is overall a pretty fun mission. Like, I, I love Age of Empires, but I do think that this one has some design problems in it. Like, look at this! By the end of the map, this is pretty much what you're dealing with if you haven't captured all the sectors yet, right? Like, I was starting to, I was trying to capture this sector, but I realized I couldn't because they're just spawning elephants faster than I can clear them out. It's just straight up not worth it. Like, these two stables just spamming elephants. These two stables, spamming elephants. Once you start once you trigger the Sundas to start start training units, I don't know, I guess you guys gotta really grab the stables really fast. But a lot of these sections have stables. Uh, also, there's tons of ships on the right side, and the only way to access this island is through the right side. So this, this area here that's on the screen right now just becomes like a, a meat grinder of, of epic proportions, I guess. So, um, yeah. 
that's really that. I'm gonna restart the game to show you the positioning of the Sundar Royal Fighters at the very start also. Let's do Marco Polo and then pause. So you see there's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 Sundar Royal Fighters here. Why was I training the Scorpions earlier? It was because I wanted to trigger, I wanted to break this barricade here and this barricade, build two castles, which I did, and then use my scorpions to hit the castle to trigger all these melee units to funnel out to try to kill the scorpions. While they're funneling out, the castles will shoot them and my elephants will be here uh, fighting them, right? It kind of worked. It kind of worked. I did have an initial wave where a lot of the Sunda Royal fighters kind of ran out, right? Um, and we did manage to clear out a lot of them, so that was good. Something to be careful of, though, is having your ships bust through here. I think it was a good idea to do this um, because I can shoot the enemy and kind of clear them out of these zones somewhat. Uh, but I don't recommend shooting the Sunda Royal fighters over here because you're just going to hit them further inwards, right? It's going to make them harder to to kite out. So we've got the 12 Sunda Royal fighters in the middle here. We've got I four in this section. A couple of which might even I die to your initial I seven karambits. And you have uh, two here and two here. So you definitely, definitely, definitely need to be careful of the four over here. You're going to need to break this barricade. So this barricade, this barricade, this barricade are all going to need to go. This barricade probably should also go. If you're fast, if you're good, you can take this, uh, these stables by storm as well as these stables. If you can do a double takeover here, then you'll be in much better shape. As for the start, there's only a few Galeons uh, on this side. Um, these two Galeons, it's so hard to see because they're blue. These two Galeons and these two Galeons. Then there's a small fleet of Galeons here, but you don't really need to worry about those. And you can set up trade here with the Indian traders, who, by the way, give you armored elephants instead of war elephants. The trade is like, it's much worse. Armored elephants are not worth it in this scenario. Because most of the buildings, you're not trying to destroy anyhow. You only really care about knocking down walls. And by the time you can get the elephants involved in knocking down the walls, it's A, not worth the effort, and B, yeah, it's just, it's just not worth the, uh, the effort. If those were war elephants, it'd be, they'd be insane, like they used to be. But as of now, I think only battle elephants are really viable. Furthermore, uh, the brigand camps, they will keep spawning enemies, I think, until you clear them. So do clear them. They're easy to clear, and they give you resources. So this one, I think, gives you like 150 food. This one gives you some food and wood. This one, I think, gives you some wood and gold. Uh, do clear out those camps, because it will simplify It'll simplify your play a little bit. This is where the ships keep spawning from Cyan, so definitely clear these guys out. Uh, and if you pay close attention, you'll realize there's a path here that leads to a weakened palisade gate that you can use to do slightly easier access to the main city if you don't want to access through these two gates. I considered doing that, but in the end, I was able to bust through the gates about, a, about at the same speed. Um, though, if you're more proactive, your starting onagers can clear these trees so that you have more direct and easy access here. Uh, so that's just something else to be thinking of. Yeah, so all told, just spam elephants and prey for the best. That's honestly all you can do. Get that eco set up and balance as well as you can. Uh, clear up brigands. And it will still likely come down to the wire. Uh, and it, you might even just get unlucky and not find a Sunda Royal Fighter and just lose. I, it sucks that it they bait you with like the we go down with honor. I thought that meant that we were going to win. But it turns out they had... Um, at least two or three left. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, all in all. Uh, definitely one of the tougher missions in the campaign sets that I've played. Probably harder than all of the new DLC missions that I've played. And honestly, not for the reasons that I like. I don't, I don't really like this mission. Um, I didn't when it was bugged, and... I enjoy it more now, but I still don't really like it 
all that much. I think it could be the timer could either be extended, or uh, Sunda could produce slightly fewer elephants. Like, come on, really? Um, yeah, but that's that's mainly my feedback here. Uh, overall, still had a good time. It was nice to prove to everyone that I can do it still uh, on hard difficulty without the bug. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.